Are you looking for a simple and easy formula when it comes to body butter? Something that's not overly complicated, that just only has five ingredients? Well then, you're in the right place, because I've created a wonderful five ingredient body butter that's easy to make and great for beginners. This is a beautiful body butter, and I'm gonna share with you the overall formula for this body butter and also alternatives so that you can be able to make this yourself with ingredients that you already have or with having to buy as minimal products as possible. Let's get right into the video. What's up, beautiful entrepreneurs? When it comes to having a simple and easy product, this makes things just a lot more simple and easy in general, especially when you're just starting out and you're wanting to make you know, a body butter, but you don't really wanna have too many complicated ingredients. Or if you already have a body, you know, a skincare line, and you just want to have you know, a simple ingredient body butter, this is gonna be the formula for you. I think about starting a series of simple and easy formulas that are easy to make and that have just great, simple, easy ingredients. If that's something that you're interested in, comment down simple and easy down below so I know that this is a series that you're interested in me starting. Now when it comes to this formula, we're going to start off strong with mango butter. Now mango butter is a really great butter because this is just going to be very lightweight. It's not too heavy. Um, it has a really nice texture. It's a lot softer um, than your shea butter. So this is a really great ingredient, especially when you're just starting out. Now, when it comes to any alternatives, I would use shea butter. You can also use soy butter. There's avocado butter. So there's other butters that you can use. They're gonna have around the same texture um, when it comes to this formula. And we're gonna be using this in at 54% of the overall formula. Because when it comes to this formula, I want it to be light and fluffy. And I also want the, you know, the mango butter to really be the shine of this formula. Then we're going to add in stearic acid. Now I love stearic acid because this is going to be a thickener and also is a stabilizer. When it comes to your body butter, it's a really great ingredient because it gives you the, you know, the buttery feel without the greasiness. So when you have such a simple, you know, formula that doesn't have very many ingredients, you want to have like the thickness of the other butters, but you don't want it to um, be too soft by adding in to like many, you know, other carrier oils. So by adding in stearic acid, Acid, it really gives the body butter the great benefit of having great thickness. Now that really brings me into a quick tip when it comes to making body butter. If you want it to be very simple and easy and you want to have more, you know, butters aligned with uh, your product, but you don't want it to be overly greasy because by adding in, you know, the mango butter and then shea butter and then having a cocoa butter and like, you know, all these other butters it is going to make it a lot greasier. So to avoid that, you can add acetyl alcohol, satyryl alcohol, or stearic acid is going to allow for the product to be thicker without giving it the overly greasy feel. We're going to be using the stearic acid in at 15% of the overall formula. Now our next ingredient here is going to be cocoa butter. Now when it comes to cocoa butter, this is a firm, hard butter. And this really helps to have more of a you know firm texture when it comes to your body butter, especially with this being like a great kind of like winter ready body butter. This is going to be one that's really great for, you know, um, for moisturization. But with it being the winter time, the body butter can sometimes get really hard um, during the winter months. And so by adding in cocoa butter, it really helps to even out the texture of the overall body butter, making it not too firm, but soft enough to be easily used also in the, in the winter time. So when it comes to the cocoa butter, we're gonna be using this in at 8% because I don't want it to be too hard. I still want it to give a little bit firmness, but not to be too hard for the overall formula. Now, if you need any alternatives when it comes to cocoa butter, a really great alternative would be to use uh, cocoon butter. That's another really great hard butter that's going to give you the same benefit. Now, the next ingredient we're going to use is marula oil. Now, this is a great oil because this is a very lightweight oil that's great for, you know, for dry skin. It really helps to moisturize your skin and like you want to make a body butter that's geared strictly to dry skin or, you know, eczema or anything like that. Then marula oil is a really great oil because it's going to really help with those benefits. So, so with the marula oil, we're going to be using this in at 22%. 
Now, with it being such a high percentage, it really helps to have the cocoa butter because it kind of helps to even out, you know, the ratio from the, you know, the mango butter and then you have the cocoa butter and then the oils. So it really helps to make sure that you're still getting that firm texture that you want in a body butter that's super fluffy and, and airy. Now your final ingredient is going to be vitamin E. Now vitamin E is always crucial when it comes to any oils that you're making, your body butter, because it allows, it helps to avoid the oils going rancid in your products. So it extends the shelf life of the product in general. So this is a great natural preservative for your body butters. Now, when it comes to an alternative, a really great alternative to this is going to be rosemary oil. So if you don't have um, vitamin E, which I think is kind of the better option, but if you don't have vitamin E and you do have rosemary oil, then that's going to be a really good alternative because it will also, you know, allow for the oils to have a longer shelf life and for the oils to not go rancid. I don't know if you've ever, you know, made your body butters or oils without vitamin E and you notice that over time that the smell did start to go rancid and that it did have kind of like an old oily smell to it. That's when the oils are going rancid and that's when the products are starting to go bad. So adding in vitamin E, just that 1% will help to avoid that, especially if you're selling this as a product that ends up sitting on your shelf for a long period of time because it hasn't been sold yet. So you want to make sure that you're adding in ingredients that are going to preserve your product. Now I know when it comes to making body butter it can get really complicated with the ingredients not knowing what ratios not knowing what skincare issues you want highlighted. I decided to make a beginner friendly pro level formula that you can purchase today that takes out all the guesswork in making your product. This is an easy body butter formula that takes out all of the guesswork for your product. You already have a product that is completely you know um, completely thought out and it has the perfect texture when it comes to body butter and you still have the control of making your own products this is really great because you can write off this as an expense when it comes to your overall business at the end of the year tax wise and it's just something that will give you that will make things a lot easier as far as your business development and you're not having to worry about having to guess about what your formula is going to be and if it's going to work in bigger batches or if you'll be able to uh, make this for a long period of time so this is a really great formula something that you don't have to overly think about so if this is something that you're interested in definitely click the link down below so you can snag yours today now when it comes to making this formula you want to put all of your butters and oils together in a heat safe bowl you're gonna put this on a double boiler to allow everything to melt down completely once it has melted down then you want to allow for it all to cool now you want it to cool down enough for you to be able to whip it up into the nice peaks that you that you have so you want to make sure that you are whipping it up consistently so as you're putting it in the fridge or the freezer you can take it out periodically and whip it and allow for the air to incorporate and then put it back in the freezer and kind of do that over time so that you can start to get the fluffiness that you're looking for now, once you've allowed it to um, to whip up and you've allowed it to cool to uh, lower than 80 degrees Fahrenheit, then you can add in the vitamin E oil because you don't want to add that in at the hot stage because it's just going to kill it and it's not going to be effective. So I always just have a good rule of thumb for myself to make sure that it's at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And once you've done that, then you'll have your full body butter. Now, what I really love about this formula is that it's going to be it's going to be firm enough for you to be able to pipe it or you can just do soft peaks within this formula and pour it into your jar so that you don't have to fully whip it completely either way it's up to you but you have a firm enough product so that you can pipe it and create beautiful colors or you can just pipe it to have the great beautiful designs when it comes to your body butter now I really love to have a simple and easy formula. If you want a series like this to start on this channel where I make more simple and easy formulas that are going to be five ingredients or less, then definitely comment down simple and easy down below so I know that that's something that you are interested in. Now if you want another simple and easy product that is also five ingredients, then check out my blue tansy face oil. I have it linked right here so you can make a beautiful face oil that's simple and easy with only five ingredients. And I'll catch you in in the next one.